Hi guys, welcome to the prologue episode of my reboot journey. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be moving from Bera over to Reboot. I'm not going to be dropping anything in Bera, I'm still going to be playing Bera every single day. It's just that I haven't really been doing too much on Bera. Like I just do my dailies, my weeklies, I don't really do much else in the game and it's been a long time since I had that feeling of like really progressing in MapleStory. I am level 275 on my main character. I liberated a Genesis weapon. Most of the gear is done or it's like settleable for the average player. Um, you know, nothing's perfect, but it's like it's all good enough for me. So there's not really much else that's really pushing me to keep moving forward in this game. The, the, the only thing that I could really be doing is just training and getting to the next level milestone like 280 but right now there's nothing in the game that's released that's really making me strive for that uh, i know eventually one day there will be level 280 area level 285 290 295 300 and eventually you know even beyond that but right now there's none of that's out uh, there's no big motivating factor for me to hit 280 right now I, I am kind of close to leveling, I'm like over 70%, but I know eventually I'll hit 280, uh, so I'm not in a rush to hit it right away. I'd rather just take my time getting there, you know, train when I want to train, don't force myself to train. Um, I, I don't want to get like burnt out on this game, it's just that uh, I, I want that feeling of like, you know, kind of enjoying MapleStory. <laughs> like I still have fun in the game, but you know, I. I don't really do much other than the dailies and the weeklies. So I wanted to, you know, try to start over. Um, I had a couple of ideas on what to do. My first option was to continue funding my second main. I have a Pathfinder, it's level 245. It's around 35, 37k stat. It's my free to play character. One of the options was to, you know, pursue that character, try to get that character up to a higher level, try to get it strong enough to liberate a Genesis weapon. But I don't really want to spend a lot of resources on that character. I'd rather just kind of take my time with it whenever I get Meister cubes from bosses or flames from elite bosses, I'll throw those on those characters on that character's gear and you know if i get lucky you know i roll three line stat on an item then i'll try to 20 star it 22 star it um you know try to roll a good flame on it but i'm not really trying to like scout for like good gear in auction house or try to spend a lot of nx on cubes to roll three lines i'd rather just take my time with it and you know if it gets to that strong uh stat then you know i'll level it up when the time comes but for now, I don't really want to uh, really focus on my Pathfinder. I'll also be going over my Pathfinder's gear in this video. I'll go over everything I have in Bera, uh, my main character's gear, my Legion, uh, all of my side characters. Um, so the next idea that I had was to start in a new server. Uh, but the debate was if I start in regular server, like in Scania or Elysium or Aurora, or move over to Reboot. And I, I've chosen to go to Reboot just because if I did choose a regular server, I feel like all of that effort being put into that regular server could have just been put into my Pathfinder. And I personally think it would be cooler to have a second character on the same server that's at the liberation level rather than trying to have, uh, let's say, like a Scania character at the liberation level. Because doing that, that's going to be extremely hard because, <laughs> you know, I have to start over from AK Legion again and then just really pushing to that liberation level is very challenging. Um, so then that got me thinking, oh, what about Reboot? Reboot, uh, I never played Reboot, so I can't really say too much about it other than my speculations. Um, 
from my point of view, you know, having never touched Reboot, I feel like the early game is going to be a bit challenging, especially trying to push for like 8k Legion, getting those good link skills. It seems like that's going to be a lot harder in Reboot compared to regular server, because in regular server, you could at least prep gear and, you know, just transfer all that gear onto that character and just kind of speed run it. But for Reboot, you have to, you know, kind of start from scratch. You could, you know, give yourself mesos in Reboot, but you can't like prepare the gear on its own. So you kind of have to spend some time and attention on each character, which isn't really something I've ever really done in MapleStory. Because for my Vera account, I trained all the classes up to level 200, but some of it I didn't really enjoy. I just kind of just did it. Uh, you know, I didn't really think too much about the class. I just like prepped whatever generic percent like epic gear that I had and just threw it on it and just, you know, use whatever skills I had. But I feel like for reboot, I feel like you could really and take your time to enjoy each character and, you know, put some effort into it uh, to make it strong enough to hit that level 200 mark or even 210 mark or, or higher if you wanted to. I don't really have too many goals in mind for reboot right now i think it would be very cool if i could you know liberate and reboot but i definitely shouldn't get ahead of myself i know that road is a very long road and there's a lot of milestones to be reached uh, before hitting that last one so i think at the very minimum the the first goal i have is to be able to solo normal lotus in reboot i i am going to be streaming most of my progression and i'm going to be trying to make a reboot series a solo reboot series on youtube so if that's something you're interested in uh, hopefully i'll be motivated to uh keep posting but i do want to take it solo where i don't want to be carried but i'm not totally against the idea if i have already soloed the boss once so for example i, I definitely wanted a solo cra for the first time but then let's say each week it takes me like 15 minutes to solo like the chaos clown or something I don't want to suffer each week, so if I soloed it once, that'll be good enough for me. And then if someone, one of my friends wanted to carry me for that week, you know, I'll take it. But just for the first time, I, I definitely want to solo everything. Up, you know, if I get past Lotus, you know, I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, I want to solo hard loaded, hard hard lucid before I get a party for hard lucid. Like that doesn't make any sense. But like for like normal Lotus, I feel like that's like you know a good a good place to start. Um, I also don't want to like you know get carried in hard lucid you know I'd rather find a party that's around my level to you know do those things but we'll get there you know we'll, we'll talk about it when we get there um, but for now that's kind of like the my, my first goal uh, so this isn't something I'm going to just be saying like oh yeah I'm gonna play reboot and then never play after that um, I actually do uh, I'm looking forward to playing um, I'm going to actually start my reboot series on Friday, uh, this coming Friday, on October 22nd. I'm going to be playing Reboot about two hours after reset. So if you look forward to that, I'll link my Twitch uh, and my Discord for a reminder ping. If you wanna join those two things, uh, feel free to. Um, I look forward to having you guys there on this journey. Uh, I look forward to just being on the reboot journey. I've actually been thinking about this for like the past week and uh, I've been really looking, I've been really eager to to be playing reboot. So it should be fun. Uh, so aside from that, uh, that pretty much knocks out all of the uh, reboot discussion on like why I want to move to reboot. Uh, so now I'm just going to go over all of the things that I have on Bera. I'll try to not forget something, but we'll just start off with my zero. We'll go over each of its equipment. I'll talk a little bit about like how I got it because 
I'm not a completely free to play player. I have uh, bought some gear. I have spent money on, you know, NX and stuff on cubes. So, uh, you know, some people are against that, but I don't, I don't really care if you want to spend money on the game. Um, but I have made some self-made gear. I think it's about half. Uh, half of my gear is self-made. Half of my gear is uh, either purchased or bought with like cubes or something. So I'll go over it um, each gear one at a time. So starting off with the totems, I have a gold doom totem and a dark doom totem. These two came from events. I do want to buy a dark doom totem, a second one. If I ever find one in auction house or if another one comes from events, that will be great. So eventually I would want to replace this. I do have a hunter totem, which I bought recently from auction house. I just had the spare mesos and I was like, you know, why not? I'll, I'll just buy it. So kind of wild out a little bit for that because um, uh, this replaced another gold totem. So I had two gold totems. So this replaced one of them. Going over the first ring is a 22 star Meister ring. It is prime scrolled. It's only 27% main stat with a two line B pot of 10%. So it's pretty decent. I did purchase this item, so it's not self made. Um, I purchased it as the scrolling and the cubing, and I 22 starred it myself. Superior Gullix ring. It is 22 star, 27% main pot, and 7% B pot. I remember buying this in Auction House for 5 Bill Mesos. I bought it for, it was clean with just the main potential. It might have been finished scrolling, I forgot which it was, but, but yeah, it's uh, pretty decent for 5 Bill. And I 22 starred it and I B potted it myself. Moving on to the reinforced ring. It's 30% main pot with the B pot of 5% and also 22 starred. I believe I purchased the main pot and B potted it myself along with 22 starred it myself. Solid Gullix ring, it is 20 starred. It is 27% main pot and a 7% B pot. Again, I, I bought the main pot and I rolled the B pot myself and 20 starred it myself. My pocket item is a gold Richie, Rich, Richies, 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 uh, handkerchief. Uh, it's 27 strength with a 4% all stat. Uh, decent enough for me. I, I forgot where I got this item, but I, I had it. I didn't buy it. Uh, I did flame it myself. Um, but yeah, I forgot where this came from exactly, but yeah. Uh, I'll also go over my familiars uh, after my gear. Uh, first pendant is 30% with the B pot of 5% and 4% flame with 22 stars. I bought the main pot, I B potted it myself, flamed it myself, and with no, the flame isn't that great, but 22 starred it myself. Same exact thing, um, almost identical, not exactly the same, but <laughs> actually pretty pretty identical <laughs> it's 30 percent main pot which i bought and then the b pot i beat up potted it myself it's not great obviously but it's like good enough for me uh 22 started myself flamed it myself so these two are like pretty much exactly the same uh, i'll go over the weapon last uh, my belt i made this entirely by myself uh, I rolled the main pot with the Meister cube. I B potted it myself, 22 starred it myself. Uh, hat, the hat I purchased uh, fully, everything. I didn't touch anything on this hat except for the anvil. Uh, it's a 22 starred uh, CRA hat. It's primed, 108 strength flame, 30% main pot, and 12% uh, B pot. So pretty great. Sweetwater tattoo. It's 22 starred, uh, 22 starred it myself. It's 27% 27 main pot. I believe my friend actually cubed this for me. I remember telling him like, oh, hey, like if you wanna uh, cube this item and if you roll three line stat, you could keep it. And uh, he actually rolled uh, three line strength. Like the all stat, you know, isn't perfect, but you know, it, it's good enough for me. And he, I did tell him like, oh yeah, you could keep it. Like, you know, I, I said it so he could keep it, but he was nice enough to give it back to me. So it was, it was nice of him. Um, 
But yeah, so he cubed it and I B potted it myself. 6% strength plus 1 strength per 10 level. Uh, this is a transposed Sweetwater monocle. I made this entirely by myself. I got the pat mark by myself. I flamed the pat mark by myself. I used the, um, what do you call those, um, those scrolls? The plus four to five attack scrolls from an event. I only rolled plus five attack once and then rolled plus four attack all the other times. There are, there's also flag race, so I'm gonna go do flag race real quick and then we'll talk about my gear afterwards. Actually, we can talk about my gear in here. How, how perfect is that? <laughs> all right. Um, so yeah, moving on, uh, CRA top 30%, uh, this I made entirely by myself, 30% um, main pot, flame is 76 strength and 4% all stat, 22 starred, it's only 30% spell traced, B pot is 5% strength or 5% all stat and plus 1 strength per 10 level, bottoms also 30%, 9% B pot, Flat, 96 strength, 22 starred, also 30% spell traced. The Arcane Knight Shoes, it's only 21 starred. I made this entirely by myself. I prime scrolled it, uh, star forced it. It's 133 flat stat. Uh, the May pot is 33%, B pot is 6% strength and strength plus one per 10 level. My earrings, I fully purchased as is. I didn't touch these earrings. Um, I got it 22 starred. Uh, the flame is plus eight strength with 4% strength or 4% all stat, 30% main pot and 5% B pot with also the plus one per 10 levels. Shoulder, I made myself. Uh, I icogged it. I forgot what the stats were for the icog, but it's not great. Um, it's 21 starred. Can I do this while flag racing? Oh, I can. Nice. Okay. So we're going to try to do this. Um, so yeah, it's 21 starred. Uh, I main potted in myself, B potted in myself. It's only 27% main pot and the B pot is plus two strength uh, per 10 level. The gloves, I also made myself 21 starred. The flame is pretty good. It's 85 strength with 6% all stat. And the main pot is something I do want to work on, but I'm only waiting for the equality cubes to come back on sale. Equality cubes are cubes that roll prime lines only. So it's a pretty good opportunity to try to roll like two line crit damage or even three line crit damage. Right now it's only one line crit damage with a decent sharp eyes, which is decent but it's not that great so i do want to recube this eventually but i don't want to use any reds or black cubes just because i do want to wait for equality cubes to come out uh, i do have a battle roid going over my emblem it is 21 attack with nine percent crit rate and uh 18 percent attack b pot so it's definitely good enough Badge, I am one of the lucky ones that has a badge. It's only 17 starred and 24 flat attack from ICOGS. I rolled plus six attack four times with ICOGS. There's not much strength on it, so that's a little unfortunate, but I was still lucky enough to get the uh, 24 attack. And the main pot is only 27%. Uh, strength with 6% uh, all stat and plus 1 strength per 10 level on the B pot. I do have two extra badges. I do want to try to star force my badge eventually. I just don't know when I want to do it, uh, but I do have a couple of replacements. So that should be kind of exciting when I try to star force this. Uh, I have the seven day monster park medal. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to show that weapon. Whatever, if you guys want to pause it and try to look. But uh, I'll go over the weapon last again. Um, but yeah, my cape is probably one of my better items. Uh, again, this is self-made. It is 22 starred. It's my only arcane item that is 22 starred. All my other icons, the shoulder, the glove, the boot, those are all 21 star. 
I don't really want to push them to 22 just because I know if it does boom, then I have to start all over again. I don't think that risk is really worth the trouble, to be honest, for me personally. So maybe in the future I'll do it. But for now, I'm definitely uh, not really uh, that motivated to try to go for it. But yeah, my Arcane Cape, what I did 22 star it for some reason. I don't, I don't know why, but I did it. Got lucky. It worked. The flame is pretty good. 98 strength with 5% uh, all stat. It is prime scrolled. The main pot, very lucky. I, I remember getting this with a reward point red cube. It's 36% strength main pot. The B pot, definitely not great. It's only one line, but eventually I'll try to B pot it. But for now, it's good enough. It's plus two strength every 10 levels. So, you know, it's okay. But yeah, I remember I, I kind of took a break from Maple Story, and when I came back, I had the reward points left over, so I just bought the five red cubes, and I told myself, okay, if I get something good with this cube, I will come back to Maple Story. And I got something very good. So ever since that point, I've been basically playing every single day. So I have an Outlaw Heart. It's only 17 starred. It is prime scrolled and it is 30% main pot with a two line B pot of five all stat with plus one strength per 10 level. I probably won't really ever try to 22 star this unless for some reason I get a spare lined up, uh, but I don't really look forward to ever really buying a replacement. But I forgot to mention, I did self make an outlaw heart. I primed it myself, but I did roll three line luck and I traded the luck for a strength one. And then on the strength one, I rolled the B pot myself and 17 star it myself. So yeah, yeah. All right, lastly, we're going to go over the weapon. I am a zero, so I have the, uh, the two weapons. Um, they're basically the same thing. Um, the base attack is just slightly different, but other than that, everything else is the same. It is a 22 starred Genesis weapon. It, the flame is not great. If anyone knows anything about zero weapon flaming, you know it's not that great. So this is good enough for me i have been trying to throw some black flames on there from legion shop every once in a while but uh, it is very hard to get something amazing on it but the flat 151 attack is pretty good i rolled three line attack on this very lucky i remember i was doing normal singness with a group of friends i it dropped a meister cube i remember picking it up using it and freaking out because at the time, you know, this was like such a long time ago, maybe like three or four years ago. And at that time, I had like nothing like my gear was like epic gear. So I, I didn't have anything ever really amazing. But I remember rolling three line attack with the Meister Cube and it was very exciting. <laughs> so that really helped motivate me to keep playing this character because I knew like, oh, man, I can't let this potential go to waste because you can't sell a zero weapon or trade it. So it's just stuck on your character. The pod is also very good. It's two line attack, 23% attack with a decent third line, 7% all stat. Not the best, but definitely, you know, better than nothing. So we take those. Uh, has a decent flame, plus three attack, Magnificent Magnus. So I'm not really gonna replace that anytime soon. I do have a few pets. My pets have 43 attack, 43 attack, and 42 attack. They're not vac pets. I do have a vac pet, but I don't use a vac pet for the stat. I just use it to loot. So, yeah. That goes over all of my, like, base equipment. Uh, my Legion is 8k Legion. 82-82. That's a pretty nice looking number. Um, I actually need to change this to... Uh, change this attack and strength actually i think that's actually technically better to fill up the string compared to the attack uh, but yeah this is my legion setup for bossing this is my legion setup for training i like to put it all into crit rate and then if i ever need to i'll just take it out of crit rate and then light it up into buff duration so whenever i'm like training a mule uh, that's what happens 
But yeah, this is my uh, bossing setup. Uh, my link skills, we go over my link skills. Uh, this is the general link skill setup that I use. Uh, I, I never use a calculator to test my damage. I just kind of do whatever, like what just feels good to me. I don't really care too much to be very min maxi, but this is my setup. Uh, I like to use Demon Slayer, uh, Luminous, Demon Avenger, Kinesis, Resistance, Arc, Mihail, Angelic Buster, Adventure Mage and or Explorer Mages, and Explorer Thieves, Kane and Beast Tamer. Some people like to use the Ilium or the Cadena one. Uh, these could be better in replacement of the Thief and the Kane, but I like to use these. Um, just because it, it is slightly more percent damage, though it does have a cooldown. But I like to try to use some of my big bursty attacks, like uh, Shadow Flash. It's a pretty good, uh, um, strong attack, but it does have a very short cooldown, or somewhat short cooldown. It's 40 seconds. So I like to try to time this skill along with these two skills. So it's just like kind of like a fun little thing i like to do because like if i were using these two links i'll just use them whenever but when i'm using these two i have to try to try to time my burst to get the most use out of these two link skills if that makes sense so, so that's kind of why i like to use them i don't really know if it's any better or worse to do that but it's just like what i like to do this is my v matrix everything is pretty much maxed except for some of the decent skills uh I'm not really in a rush to max some of these things like Erda Bind or Blink or any of these decents just because I'll open nodes eventually I'll max it. I don't really care right now. Um, but yeah, this is my node setup. Uh, what else do I need to cover? Uh, basically covered everything. I do have Meso gear. Uh, I didn't make any of these. I did buy them. They're all two line uh, meso and drop. I have 100% drop and 100% meso. I do use a Tengu cape sometimes for drop rate or for meso farming if I could one shop the area with it. Uh, if, some of you guys might not know this, but the Tengu cape actually gives you a buff when you equip it. Um, it could give you 5% item drop if you have this correct setup or it could give you 3% meso if you use this setup. So this is on top of your regular equipment. So this could go above the 100% equipment meso item obtained. I usually have it for drop just when I'm going bossing. I like to try to get the extra cubes, you know? <laughs> so yeah, going over my range, we'll look at my setup. So this is my clean range and with buffs so with um this skill what is it called the um maple warrior i don't know why it escaped my mind but yeah that skill i reach 71k stat so definitely a respectable range i would say um fully buffed up we'll use everything echo uh, I kind of hit this range, uh, but when I'm attacking, zeros do get stronger with buffs. So let me just fully buff up here. Yeah, this is my range that I'm rocking. Oh, also my familiars. I forgot to go over my fams. This is my familiar setup. I don't have great familiars, uh, but these are the ones I use. 35% IED. 20% boss and another 20% boss. Nothing that great. I do have uh, a large drop familiar and I do have a few like healing familiars, but these are the ones I use for bossing. Uh, so my range is definitely not too bad. It's definitely a decent range to solo most of the hard bosses. Um, yeah, I think that covers it. Oh, hyperstats. Uh, my hyperstats, I don't really like to touch too much. And again, I never used uh, like damage calculator or whatever. Uh, I just put 
10 points into crit damage, IED, regular damage, and boss damage. I put an extra point into the boss damage because why not? One into crit rate, so that way I could have the 100% crit rate. Uh, five into the mana thing for zeros and six into attack and I put uh, maxed out bonus exp just because I don't really need the extra stat for bossing so I'd rather just always consistently have this exp so I don't need to keep resetting it yeah inner ability is also very good uh, the one line attack could be replaced with uh, I was thinking about replacing it with mesos, but for now, um, so I'm just requesting to join the guild. I'll, I'll do that later. Um, but yeah, the the first line could be replaced with something else like meso obtained or percent cooldown or boss or whatever you'd like. But I just have the percent the plus one attack speed just in case. I don't really know if you really need it as a zero, but I have it, so it's whatever. I uh, got 10% boss and 7% chance to skip cooldown. Uh, I do have this title. I sometimes use this title or I sometimes use this title. I don't really know which one's the best, but this one gives some IED, so I like to use this one. Uh, but sometimes I use like the Holy Bingbidity for like GPQ or something, but... But yeah, I don't really know which one's really better to use, but yeah. Uh, I think that basically covers everything, right? Pretty much. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Everything should be good. Uh, keyboard setup, in case you're wondering about that. That's what that looks like. Um... Hope I'm not forgetting anything. If I am forgetting anything and you've been watching this in this video the entire way through, then you know feel free to ask if I am if you are curious about something. But that's pretty much everything for my zero. Let's move on to my next character. Oh, something I could flex is my mules. They all look the same. So that's something fun to flex. These are my beginners. I have a 210 beginner, a level 200 legend, which is an Aaron beginner, noblest beginner, level 200, and a level 200 citizen. They also look the same, except this one. This one kind of looks not great, but it's whatever. <laughs> uh, this was going to be my dexless rogue project. I want to get a rogue to level 200, um, which is the first job thief. I never really finished it, but maybe I'll get back to it later on, but yeah. It is pretty much my account. I do weekly bosses on four accounts. I do weekly bosses on my hero. I go up to CRA or technically CPAP. Um, I go up to CPAP on my hero. It makes around 200 mil a week, if I remember correctly. And for my Aaron, I go up to normal Lotus and normal Damien. This gets me like 250 mil a week or something slightly more than the hero uh so i do four weekly bosses uh, along with my uh, second main my pathfinder which also does the weeklies i do do easy singness on two extra characters i don't know why i do it i just kind of do it for fun uh this character actually made me we can actually look at the mesos i've been doing easy singness on this character or I don't even know how long. You could probably calculate it. But it's made me 463 mil just from doing easy singness every single week. You get roughly 9 mil or like around 10 mil, 9 point something mil um, each easy singness crystal. So you could kind of calculate how many weeks I've been doing easy singness on this character. Um, but it's literally all I do on this character is just do easy singness. <laughs> That's a fun flex. Uh, same thing with my Kana. I also do easy sickness on this Kana. But yeah, we'll go into the Pathfinder. This is my second main. It is my free to play account. This character, I'll just go over the equipment very quickly. Um, there's not really much to talk about. Someone said welcome back. I'll say TY. Um, but yeah. 
everything is pretty much 17 starred two line unique uh i did self make everything uh so yeah there's not really much to talk about because the gear isn't really that spectacular uh i did buy these to an auction house they're three line unique so i didn't self make these i i did buy them pre-cubed but i did 17 star it myself uh but yeah there's nothing really too spectacular about uh my equipment right now i am trying to uh main pot this with meister cubes just trying to hope for like one line crit damage one line decks and i'll settle for that uh the b pot very good b pot very lucky uh very fortunate that i it's uh two line decks on epic because i i don't the only times i get b pod cubes like free to play is just from the uh fairy bros so because it did tear up i wouldn't be able to recube it unless it's like a month later but very fortunate that it rolled decks on reveal shoulder is actually pretty good um it would have been really nice if that all stat was just decks instead but but yeah but yeah, again, everything is self-made on this character. This is probably the best item I have. Not including the weapon, I guess. The weapon is actually pretty good. I just need to star force it. Then it'll be very good. Um, but yeah, I rolled three line decks. I rolled three line flat attack on the B-Pot, which is pretty funny. Uh, flame is also pretty decent 30% spell trace oh yeah everything is like 30% spell trace except for the gullix items um but yeah 20 starred uh i i 20 started on a whim randomly um but yeah everything else is like basically 17 i'll only go to 20 stars or 22 stars once i know the main pot is done so right now the next main pot i'm working on is the gloves so once i roll one line crit damage and one line dex on it at least then i'll go for 20 stars and then i'll move on to the next web or next item which i don't know which one i want to move forward to um my pants are legendary but rolling three line on pants could be very painful heart is evil scrolled attack it's 88 attack uh two line decks so not that great but it's um decent enough uh, these pet scrolls were used with like two to four attack pet scrolls. This one's actually very lucky. It's 21 attack and compared to this one, which is 22, but this one has three less scrolls. So I got very lucky with these, uh, these equipment, but these are my pets. Uh, my range or my stat is around 36k stat uh with maple warrior close to 37 i think if i adjust like my my legion like if i switch this to dex it'll become like 37 um along with some link skills uh, but yeah these are my characters that i play on in Barra. i do want to uh play reboot very soon so if you guys wanted to catch the live stream, I will be streaming it again on Friday, almost 24 hours once this video is released. So if you want to follow my Twitch channel or if you want to join the Discord, I'll link those two below for the ping reminders. But oh yeah, I have one character in. <laughs> I, I do have one character just because of the name. I thought it was funny, but yeah, I don't really have much of anything else on my reboot account. So I will be starting scratch by creating a character uh and i will reveal what i want to main in reboots in the future but for now i hope you guys enjoyed this pretty long prologue episode but i hope it made sense it's going to be a pain to re-record this so hopefully it's good enough hopefully i didn't forget to mention anything that i was supposed to but yeah i look forward to playing reboot I look forward to making the progression series uh, for YouTube and I look forward to streaming Reboot uh, on Twitch. So I hope to see you guys there. Thank you very much for watching the video till the very end. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and have fun in MapleStory. Bye bye.